Hi, it's Barton here from Lay and Sleep. In this video, I just wanted to demonstrate two interesting case studies of patients who presented in a similar fashion who underwent bronchoscopy with transbronchial biopsies guided by radio e bus to help determine the underlying diagnosis. The diagnosis was different in each case and vital to determine ongoing management of the patient. So I thought it was useful to demonstrate these cases to illustrate the importance of bronchoscopy and the usefulness of radially bus to help guide transbronchial biopsies to improve the yield of the biopsy. So I hope you find these cases interesting and, and that you can learn something from them. Okay, let's get into it and have a look. So the first case was a 69 year old lady who was an ex-smoker with no previous lung disease who was unwell for one month after initially presenting with cough, shortness of breath and fever. This was her initial chest x-ray demonstrating consolidation in the right middle lobe. And you can see here that the right heart border is obscured with patchy consolidation in this area of the right middle lobe. She was treated in hospital with intravenous antibiotics for pneumonia. She made a good improvement after four or five days with cessation of fever and the cough settled down and she felt better in herself. So she was discharged home from hospital. The chest x-ray was repeated one month later, and you can see that there's still some remaining opacity here. However, it looks like there's some radiological improvement. Due to that persistent consolidation, a CT scan was performed, which we have here. If we have a look at the lung windows, we can see that there's significant emphysema in the upper zones, with areas of black holes throughout the lung. As we come down, the right upper lobe is normal, but the right middle lobe just here, has dense consolidation. So this area in here is quite abnormal with what's looked like quite solid and dense consolidation. There's no obvious mass lesion, but given that this has not improved and resolved, especially in a patient who has been a smoker, the concern for an underlying malignancy exists. So bronchoscopy with transbronchial biopsies is indicated. Radial EBUS is very useful to help ensure that the biopsies are taken from the area of abnormality. So here are the right middle lobe segments with the medial and the lateral segments and the ultrasound will be able to demonstrate that the probe is in the correct area of consolidated lung so transbronchial biopsies can be taken from the right place. These biopsies did in fact confirm that there was a lung cancer there, an adenocarcinoma of the lung. A PET scan was performed for staging that we can see here. And we can see that the mediastinum and the pulmonary hilum is normal with no areas of abnormal FTG uptake. And as we scroll down, we can see this area of consolidated lung, just a little bit of faint FTG avidity. So interestingly, not as avid as we would expect for a cancer. However, Given that this lady had a proven adenocarcinoma of the lung and was in good performance status with adequate lung function and no evidence for metastases to the hyla or mediastinal lymph nodes, she underwent resection with a right middle lobectomy. The lobectomy specimen in fact showed that the majority of this consolidated lung was in fact adenocarcinoma. The resection was able to resect all of the cancer and the good result was that the lymph nodes resected were all negative for metastases, so this should be curative surgery. The next case is a lady of 54 years old who presented with fever, a dry cough and shortness of breath. Inflammatory markers were elevated with a CRP of 181 and there was an anemia of with a hemoglobin of 95, which was normocytic. Blood cultures were negative, and the white cell count was normal. And this was her initial chest x-ray, showing that there's significant opacity here in the left lower lobe. The left heart border is quite clear. We can actually see the diaphragm. There's no effusion, and there may be a little bit of patchy abnormality on the right side as well. She was treated with oral antibiotics, but after a week she demonstrated no response with ongoing fever, so was admitted to hospital for intravenous antibiotics. A CT scan was also performed to further characterise the abnormalities in the lung. And here we have the lung windows of the CT, and as we scroll down, we can start to see here this white area of patchy consolidation within the left upper lobe, 
extending into the left lower lobe. And you can see air bronchograms within there confirming that this is consolidated lung. So nice demonstration of air bronchograms going through the densely consolidated lung. There's also a patch of consolidation here which we could see on the chest x-ray and also down at the base of the right lung. And there's no pleural effusion. So this certainly looks like multifocal areas of consolidation. So I perform bronchoscopy with transbronchial biopsies and this image here is the image intensifier or the fluoroscopic image of the bronchoscope here with the radial ultrasound probe going out into the periphery of the left lung and on the tip here is the ultrasound probe which confirmed to me that I was in the correct place to take transbronchial biopsies. So transbronchial biopsies were performed and confirmed organising pneumonia within areas of lung parenchyma. There was no fibrosis and no malignancy and no organisms were found. Culture of the bronchial washings revealed no organism growth and tuberculosis studies were negative. So based on this result, she was treated with prednisolone and made a rapid improvement with cessation of fevers and she felt much better in herself and her inflammatory markers started to return to normal. And here we see her chest x-ray four weeks after treatment with the recent x-ray here on the right and although there is still some residual abnormality there is certainly significant improvement which is encouraging that things are getting better. So she now does need another follow-up x-ray to make sure that the lung is completely clear. Yeah, so there you go. Two interesting case studies of patients who presented in a similar fashion, but bronchoscopy with transbronchial biopsies guided by radial EBUS was vital to get to the bottom of the underlying diagnosis, which certainly headed treatment and ongoing management in a completely different path. But hopefully, both patients will do extremely well, and so far, that certainly has been the case. So it's been great news. Anyway, I hope you found that useful and interesting. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye now. Yeah.